Right now, it's election night in Wisconsin. With the polls now closed, we take a look at the races which have already been called. Our late season winter storm is not done yet. We are expecting more accumulation. Just how much you can expect in your neighborhood. And on this election day, former President Donald Trump rallies in Green Bay hours before winning Wisconsin's Republican presidential primary. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. We begin tonight with a live look on the Beltline. It may be April, but we are seeing an extended burst of winter, one that isn't expected to let up until sometime midday tomorrow. Thanks for staying with News 3 Now at 10. We are continuing to track the snow on a day when many Wisconsin voters were at the polls for the spring primary. And let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington now. He's been tracking what has been a very busy day in the weather office. Alex? Yes, it's winter and spring, Eric and Charlotte, and we're going to track continued rounds with this weather event. It's not done yet here, folks. We've got more snow and the wind is really going to start to ramp up as well. Alert day conditions, the first warm weather team has been first to be mentioning for days is upon us right now. Four to ten inches of accumulation still expected with the highest amounts still expected to be Madison and points towards the north and towards the east. This is through the rest of the night going on into your Wednesday. Still expecting that heavy band that Kelly was first in town to load up during the noon show with the anticipation of higher amounts upwards of 10 inches from Madison and points towards the north and towards the east and this is all said and done. We've had round one but rounds two and three and beyond are on the way to southern Wisconsin. Winter storm warnings in effect through Wednesday at least into the first part of your Wednesday for a good portion of southern Wisconsin winter weather advisories. For the rest of southern Wisconsin this will all turn over to winter weather advisories as we go on into your Wednesday which still means impactful conditions, snow, wind, and additional accumulation. Light snow starting to fall back into Dane County as we speak right now. More snow off towards the north and towards the east. That's going to be sweeping in from the north and from the east as we carry in through the rest of the night tonight. So the snow is not done. Our six-hour future track writer doing a brilliant job showing that snow moving in from the north and from the east heavy at times as we head closer and closer to that morning commute. Coming up in Maine weather, we're going to track the hour by hour continuation of that snow through your Wednesday. How strong those winds are going to be and when we can finally expect the weather to quiet down. All right, Alex, thank you. A reminder, you can get your forecast from Alex, Jacob, and the rest of the First Warren weather team with our weather app. It has hourly forecasts, road conditions, the latest radar. Download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. A new at 10. Some flights into Dane County Regional Airport this afternoon and evening were either delayed or diverted due to a runway equipment issue. Airport officials say a localizer which helps pilots find the runway in bad weather, became covered in too much snow and stopped operating. Now that piece of equipment is operated by the FAA, which sent a local team to the airport to make a repair. Earlier this afternoon, a school bus flipped over in rural Dane County. A parent sent us these photos. This happened at the intersection of Loper Road and County Highway V. The Sauk Prairie School District Superintendent says nine students were involved and just minor injuries were reported. Turning now to our election coverage, the polls closed at 8 o'clock just more than two hours ago. As the votes are being tallied, News 3 Now is bringing you team coverage as well. Will Keneally looking at how a pair of constitutional amendments did with voters. Armand Rahman looking at the early voting returns for several school referendums. We'll get to them shortly, but First, at the top of every voter's ballot, Democrat and Republican candidates for president. And there weren't any surprises on the candidates winning the Badger State. For Democrats, the Associated Press calling Wisconsin for President Joe Biden shortly after the polls closed at 8 o'clock. And it was around that same time when former President Donald Trump was declared the Republican winner of tonight's presidential primary by the AP as well. Well, coinciding with Election Day, Trump made a campaign visit to Green Bay today. Our Catherine Merck was there today and show, shows us how he's aiming to win back some Wisconsin voters that he lost in the last presidential election. For the first time this election cycle, former President Donald Trump has made his way back to Wisconsin. I'm thrilled to be back in Wisconsin with thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. After losing the vote in the Badger State in 2020, Trump needs to win back the people who voted for him when he won the state in 2016. That meant no amount of snow in the forecast could stop him from making a visit. They said, sir, I don't think we're going to make it. I said, we have to. We can't disappoint Green Bay. There's no way. And the crowds followed suit. 
Uh, we traveled 147 miles from Crystal Falls, Michigan. Throughout his hour-long speech, he spent a lot of the time telling the crowd how the situation at the southern border would have been handled better if he was president. The border is 100 times worse than it was in 2016. There's never been a border so bad. He challenged Joe Biden to discuss these issues with him on a stage like this. We have an empty podium right here to my right. You know what that is? That's for Joe Biden. I'm trying to get him to debate. Wisconsin Republicans believe Trump's messaging has already proven to be impacting voters in the polls. On the top issues that are facing people, inflation, uh, you know, the cost of gas, the border, on every top issue right now, we're Biden is trailing Donald Trump. As Trump leaves Green Bay and heads back out to the same snow and ice he entered it, he's telling his supporters that they are going to need to make their own journeys to the polls if they want him back in the White House. Thank you, Wisconsin. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. God bless you all. Thank you. With this being the first visit from former President Donald Trump, I asked the state GOP chair about how he feels compared to Joe Biden's multiple visits he's made during the course of the campaign so far. He told me that Joe Biden has to come visit the state based on the current polling numbers. Reporting in Green Bay, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. On the ballots today, many Wisconsin voters saw referenda for school districts as more districts need money to address budget gaps. Across our viewing area alone, there were 40, including four, right here in Dane County. Armand Rahman following the early vote returns from those referendums, and he joins us live now in the News Center. Armand? Eric and Charlotte, statewide, they were 90 school districts turning to property taxpayers to address those gaps in funding. Let's take a closer look at the four in Dane County, starting with McFarland. So far, with about, uh, let's take a look here as we bring up that general, there we go, about 100% reporting that has been called. 59% of voters did not agree with raising that levy limit. McFarland district officials say if this referendum doesn't pass, which it didn't, they may need to increase class sizes and or lower staff wages and benefits. And that's what most districts with these operational referenda say. Let's take a look at Marshall schools next with uh, 83% of precincts reporting 51% do not agree with using $5,000 in bonds to pay for security improvements to each of the four building entrances in schools and other specific facility needs. Next up is an operational referendum in Stoughton with about, that looks like, about 79% of precincts reporting voters leaning in favor of raising the limit by about $6 million. And the last operational referendum we're tracking tonight, Wisconsin Heights School District. And with 100% of precincts reporting, 57% of voters in favor of raising the limit by $12.8 million. Now we're tracking other races and referenda on the ballot over at channel3000.com. Eric and Charlotte. Armand, thank you. Polls closed a little more than two hours ago. Didn't take long for those results to trickle in and for the presidential primaries to be called. But there were other measures for Wisconsinites to vote on. Political reporter Will Keneally joins us in studio to break down some of those early returns. Will? Well, Eric and Charlotte, one of the biggest uh, results that we're looking at tonight was two constitutional amendment referenda that were on the ballot today. Uh, so you can also follow along too uh, for viewers at home at channel3000.com. These are a live look at the results here. Um, this deals with outside influence coming into Wisconsin elections. So this question specifically looks at whether outside donations should come into cities like Madison to help them run their elections. As you can see, voters uh, kind of with a medium-ish margin here uh, voted to block those funds coming into cities like Madison. This is something that conservatives have been working on since 2020, uh, kind of stemming from concerns about how that election was run. And you can kind of see this mirrors a little bit of um, kind of the partisan breakdown that we've seen. About 52% of voters uh, voted in the Republican presidential primary with about 48% uh, uh, voted in the Democratic primary. And speaking of, I want to take you a little bit um, here looking at the Democratic primary here. No surprises, obviously Joe Biden was going to win. Uh, we wanted to look here though at this uninstructed uh, grouping here. Number of people voting against Joe Biden. Uh, progressives largely voting uh, over his um, policy on Israel and Gaza. The number here is really important. So this raw number, about 40,000 people, that is about twice the margin uh, that Biden won Wisconsin by in 2020. So that's something that Democrats are going to want to bring back into the camp um, as we get closer to it. Looking at communities um, in Dane County here, which tends to be a little bit more progressive, you can see that number spikes even more to 13%, supporting that uninstructed uh, ballot delegate there. Um, and I want to take you here to 
um, some historical data. This is the last time actually that we saw an incumbent Democratic president run. This was Obama back in 2012. As you can see here in Dane County, large margin here, 98% supporting him with just a smattering, uh, about 1% uh, voting for an uninstructed delegate uh, for the summer convention. So lots to kind of set the scene for as we look uh, ahead to the summer. And that's on top of multiple local county races that we will continue to keep track of for you throughout the night. Eric and Charlotte? More weather and election coverage when we come back. We're going outside to check the snowfall amounts around the station, plus voting in rural communities. We travel to Lafayette County to visit a town where just a few dozen people vote each election. Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to work in the yard, tackle a project, or enjoy family time, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $100 spent on a state lawn fertilizer, like a state weed and feed, $34.99. Bags of miracle Grow potting mix, just $14.99. And all men's and women's Carhartt pocket tees, two for 30 bucks. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. America, it's a 24-7 kind of place, and that's where Ford Escape comes in, the ultimate getaway vehicle. With available driver assist technologies like pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and bliss with cross-traffic alert to help you get away from it all, even when you're right in the middle of it. You got this with Ford Escape. Choose Flex Buy on Escape with 0% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,500 Flex Buy cash. See your Wisconsin Ford dealer. Mike Super, Magic and Illusion, America's Got Talent finalist, winner of NBC's Phenomenon, leaving audiences speechless. Now you can see Mike Super live. Saturday, June 15th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. A show for the whole family to enjoy this Father's Day weekend. Mike Super, Magic and Illusion at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting-edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Dot com. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. Looking ahead to next Monday, President Joe Biden will be making a visit to Madison. A few details have been released about this trip, including where he will be speaking. What we do know is President Biden will be talking about lowering costs for Americans. He'll then travel on to Chicago for a campaign reception. We'll be sure to share more information about the president's visit as soon as we get it. Channel3000.com will be the first place to look. Continuing our spring primary coverage tonight, we were curious to see what the election process looks like in some of Wisconsin's smallest communities. The town of White Oak Springs, that's in Lafayette County, has a population just over 120 residents. Only about 60 of them are registered to vote, and last year just 37 people voted. Despite the small population, the city clerk says residents want their voices heard, and voting here is just as important as in larger communities. I think they think it's their civic duty to do it. I don't, not a lot of them stay around and chat. Their vote is important. Obviously, every vote matters. Now we're told the busiest time during any given election day is about dinner time. The longest the line will get, well, just about five people. 
Well, time to see what the snow outside looks like. That's right. Uh, meteorologist Jacob Montesano continues to check on the snowfall amounts just outside our studios here. And Jacob, what are we seeing right now? Yeah, right now I'm out here in our parking lot and I want to see just how much snow we've had so far. So here's a ruler fight sticking in the snowfall right here. Got about five inches, but because this happens with spring snows and fall, spring and fall snows, a lot of the times, which is the case that's happening right now, the snow is actually melting faster than the snowfall is accumulating. We've continued to see snowfall for the last couple of hours, but it has been very light, a lot lighter than what we've seen or what we saw rather earlier today. Now let's take a look at our parking lot out here. This was plowed a few hours ago and a lot of the leftover snow has really melted, just kind of seeing some slush. So for the most part, the roads right now are pretty good. And if we take a look at this vehicle right here, there's also not a ton of snow blocking it. And typically when you have snow plows, they push the snow to the side and this could also block driveways, but that's not necessarily the case right now. However, we are expected to see more snow overnight and the temperatures are going to fall, which will allow the snowfall to accumulate a bit further. On top of that, we also are going to see the temperatures, as I mentioned, the temperatures fall and we could see some of the wet roads actually freeze over. So even if there aren't snow on the roads, which they are expected to be tomorrow morning, we could see some icy roads as well. So the morning commute tomorrow will be pretty treacherous, although it's not that bad right now. For more on that, here's, here's Alex. Yeah, thanks so much, Jacob. And I see the snow is starting to fall out there again. We've been tracking the return of the snow this evening. There's been that brief reprieve. We were talking about it earlier on the live Facebook feed and on channel 3000.com and YouTube that that snow would be returning by the time we get to the 10 o'clock show. That's verifying. I see the snow out there as well. Alert day conditions will continue through your Wednesday. Still looking at total snow accumulations, four to 10 inches. Jacob's just showing out at the studio. We had about five, so we're about halfway there. And I do expect a couple more inches tonight and a couple more inches on your Wednesday. Winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories in effect for really all of Southern Wisconsin right now. Really anywhere you go will be impacted by the continuation of this late season winter storm. Snowfall totals, Kelly was first to put this out in town upping the totals across the area. Madison and points towards the north and towards the east seeing the heaviest amounts, and that still looks like that will verify with some places closing in on 10 inches or more before this is all said and done. Now, some of it's melting uh, as Jacob was showing. We got more snow that's gonna be falling later tonight. Look at this by 12 o'clock, future track radar, bringing that snow back down into Madison, Camp Douglas, Wisconsin Dells, over towards Mineral Point. Jacob said that morning commute's gonna be impacted, spot on with that snow potentially heavy, gusty winds. Winds not as strong as what they're going to be on your Wednesday. Even alert day conditions alone for the winds, well, the first one weather team are expecting on Wednesdays enough to discuss alert day conditions with those snow showers, heavy at times lasting into your Wednesday evening. Finally, conditions will improve by your Thursday. Again, Doppler track verifying those snow showers that Jacob was showing here. We'll zoom right in on it here over Dane County. Just a few flakes out there right now, but the heavier snow is banding back up towards the north and towards the west and towards the east as well. And that's going to be moving in from the north and from the east as future track was just showing. So while we've had this brief reprieve, it's going to be short lived. Overall estimations, this is just estimations. Jacob said about five inches out at the studio. Southwest Dane County, about four inches, three in Iowa County, over towards Columbia County, about five inches, and down towards Janesville, again, where you had that snow turn over, rain turn over to that snow latest, they have about an inch or two. Some of it's trying to melt right now, but as temperatures cool off tonight, we're going to be seeing that uh, snow stick again. Wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. That's nothing in comparison to what we're expecting by noon tomorrow as that center of that storm circulates just east of Milwaukee, you get that real tight uh, gradient around that uh, low pressure system. That's where you get those really strong northwest winds. And also that's where you get that heavy snow to pick back up again. So we'll be keeping an eye on this strengthening low pressure as it continues to evolve over the course of the next 12 to 18 hours. So it's not done yet. Round two, round three on the way to southern Wisconsin. Temperatures getting down to about freezing tonight, that critical junction that allows those roads to freeze up. And as that snow falls, 
even at a heavy clip, it's going to likely stick onto those roads again. So slushy road accumulation still expected even on those main roads, particularly as we head towards that commute, those colder back roads icing up again as we go on overnight tonight. So be vigilant as you step out or as you drive on your Wednesday morning with those visibilities also being reduced with the wind and that snow. Snow and wind tonight, snow and wind on your Wednesday, improving by your Thursday. Silver lining here is if you don't want the snow anymore and you're ready for it to melt in, well, Alex, when does spring return? We do have that back in the forecast. We'll melt that snow this weekend. And by the time we get out into next week, there we see the return of what we would expect in April. Not snow, but temperatures in the 60s and April showers. All right, Alex, thank you. Despite the weather, there was a baseball game to be played in Milwaukee. Brewers hosted the Twins for the home opener, and while the snow didn't make it quite to Milwaukee before the game, there was plenty of rain to make tailgating conditions less than ideal. Still, the Brew Crew faithful were out early in the parking lots at American Family Field, getting drenched ahead of that first pitch. Good food, good company, right? It's what they say. Good drinks. It's it's absolutely a blast. Bacon. You know, I'm waiting to bacon, absolutely the bacon for <laughs> sure. But it's it's just fun, just hanging out with family. It's a tradition every year that we do. It's just you got to do it, right? It's one of those things that you don't want to miss out on. And we will have the highlights of today's game in just a few minutes. Zach. On coming up in sports, the Bucks had an off night in the nation's capital. Who the lone bright spot was for the deer? That's next on News Three Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Rewards Club members at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison can get a ticket for a promotional drawing by visiting the Rewards Club booth. Promotional drawings can be either physical or virtual tickets. Physical tickets will be placed in a drawing barrel, while virtual tickets can be redeemed at a promotional kiosk. Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison and grab your tickets at the Rewards Club booth today. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison! Who is she talking to? If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. I was born with a heart defect. For most of my life, it was safe to monitor with regular checkups. When I was ready to start a family, we knew it was time to make my heart strong enough for pregnancy. I was nervous, but my team at UW Health specializes in complex procedures, so they knew how to help my heart keep up with my dreams. They had the expertise I needed when I needed it, and now I'm ready for the next adventure. UW Health. Remarkable. Get an 11% rebate today when you shop at Menards. We have everything for updating your home. These doormats have skid-resistant backing and are easy to clean. Available in assorted styles, just $5.99 after rebate. Nature's Finest Premium Grass Seed starts fast and blends well with existing lawns. A three-pound bag of sunny or shady area grass seed covers up to 750 square feet. $4.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www 
www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Three times in franchise history, the Brewers have started a season 4-0. In 78 and 2006, they got off to 5-0 starts. And then who could forget 1987 when they rallied off 13 straight wins to kick off the season. Brew crew looking to add 2024 to that list. Home opener against the Twins. Third inning. Christian Yelich up with one run lead, and he doubles that with one solo shot to center. Brewers go on to win 3-2. to two. Andrew Banstra has more of Milwaukee's 4-0 start to the year. It's a whole lot easier to believe that this could be our year when your team never loses. The Brewers are a perfect 4-0 to start the Pat Murphy era, and at this rate, the crew, they look like they'll never lose. What I'd like to see is like us competing the right way. You know, guys, guys working hard, guys um, competing well on the field, and that translates usually to a lot of wins and, and good play if you can sustain that, you know, for six months. Like Bryce said, it's, it's day four. You obviously would take a good start over a bad start um, for sure, but long way to go. More than 41,000 fans filled AmFam today for the Brewers home opener, battling through the weather just to see their crew. And they'll do the same for the next 162. At American Family Field, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. Last night, Wisconsin season came to an end, but their run in the WNIT sets the stage for what's to come for this program. In Marissa Mosley's third year, she led the Badgers to the postseason for the first time in over a decade. And now that they have the taste of the tournament, the expectations have changed. I told the, the team in the locker room, like, um, they set a new standard, a new expectation um, for, you know, Wisconsin women's basketball that, you know, we've now been to the postseason. And so now the expectation is to continue to do that in the future and not just um, the NIT, but obviously the ultimate goal is the NCAA tournament. Bucks in D.C. taking on Johnny Davis and the Wizards. The former Badger had just one point. Giannis, on the other hand, 34 more. The big man slams at home for two of his game-high 35 points. He also had 15 boards and 10 assists, but his triple-double was not enough. The Bucks fall to one of the worst teams in the NBA, 117 to 113. And days after Wisconsin's season came to an end in the NCAA tournament, a pair of Badgers have entered the transfer portal. After a freshman season where he tallied 10 goals and 7 assists, William Whitelaw has decided to take his talents elsewhere. And Eau Claire native Sam Stang has also entered the transfer portal. The senior forward played in just seven games this season. We're back after this. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. For over 35 years, Gruber Law Offices has had one goal, to provide top-notch legal services. One call. One call. One call. One call. That's all. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time triple pet pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Giant, classic, and mini cup pepperoni? Now that is an expression. Order the triple pep today. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services, from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. 
Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. With Suido Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Suido Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. Every single day, we help families that have been tragically impacted in truck crashes. And you'll never pay us a fee until we win your case. Truck crash? Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now This Morning. Tonight, it is primary day, which is why all around New York, people are wearing stickers that say, I forgot. New tonight on CBS. Well, before we get to Alex for one final check of weather, reminder, you can see the results of all election races. Hopefully you didn't forget here in southern Wisconsin. Just head online to channel3000.com. Alex? Can't forget that it's winter and spring out there right now. That snow is going to be coming back tonight. More snow is expected. Total snow accumulations still eyeing up 4 to 10 inches with the highest amounts. Madison and points towards the north and towards the east. And this doesn't go away on Wednesday. It doesn't end tonight. We have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories at last into your Wednesday. The wind's really going to ramp up too on your Wednesday too. Looking at wind gusts approaching 40 to 45 miles per hour as that snow returns overnight tonight. It will stick to those surfaces as those temperatures dip down to about freezing. We are expecting more road accumulation tonight. That morning commute will be impacted, so tune in. Kelly's got your back. So does the morning crew. Those snowfall totals, you may increase them just a little bit overnight tonight, but we'll see how that radar trends pan out. And so definitely tuning in tomorrow morning for Kelly on the latest of those totals out there. But spring, Spring makes a return by the time we get to the end of the weekend. Also, keep an eye on the morning show for school for sure. closings yep. mm -hmm. and Channel 3000 as well. Thanks for joining us at 10, folks. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.